What is up everybody? Today we're talking to Neela Petrucci and the whole Moto America <laughs> shit storm that's going on right now. Uh, if you don't watch or you didn't see, uh, Moto, Moto America, well, Danilo, Danilo Petrucci, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna call him Danilo, joined Moto America this year riding for uh, the War Horse. HSBK, New York, whatever, Ducati team. Why are you breaking? Oh, scary corner. Oh no, I must break. Ah! How will I ever make it around without breaking every second? <laughs> Anyways, he joined Motor America this year. First couple rounds he dominated. Now Jake on you, he's got his uh, Yamaha actually working and he's just doing what he did last year and winning everything but this week at the very end of the race you know crossing the, the start finish line like you know checkered flags running he's finished I want to say third third or fourth one of, one of the two and crossing the you know start finish line somehow it, I don't think I do not think there's a you know a any video footage of it if I remember correctly, which I think I do, I'm pretty sure I am, he was following uh, Matthew Skoltz over the finish line, and, you know, that's like 160, 170 mile an hour corner, like kind of a, it's not a corner, but it's a, you know, a kink, it's a straight, and you kind of, you're already leaning, but whatever. VAR, start, finish, straight, you know what I mean. You know, it's kind of like one of these. You're still going, you don't need to break, but you're just kind of leaning. Obviously, at 170, you're leaning more, and there's more factors to it, but, Afterwards, they they showed the you know the leader or the winner. And they showed the third and, or the second and fourth place guy, and you're like, well, where the hell is Petrucci? Like, you know, what happened to him? Well, apparently, who knows if he was trying to avoid Skoltz or Skoltz ran wide or whatever it was. Because again, I I have not seen a a uh, any video footage of it somehow. <laughs> Apparently there's no cameras in turn one at VIR, but whatever. And so apparently he crashed very fast, you know, 160, 170 miles an hour. He posted pictures on his Instagram, or was it Twitter, whatever. He posted a picture somewhere, basically bashing Motor America, being like, I was on the ground for two minutes, and you know, no one even, had no marshals come, come to see me. Nobody checked to make sure I was okay until I actually got up and started walking. And then, you know, two minutes goes by and that's unacceptable, blah, 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 blah. Obviously, he comes from MotoGP where there's like, you know, the, the big money marshals on every corner, you know, just like the big money racing. So, he bashes it and if I can find it, uh, I'll put the pictures of like his, his uh, post or whatever, uh, or the post of his injuries and also of his like, his, uh, what he wrote in Overlaid right here. So, you know, the day after that or two days, whatever it was, Motor America puts out their statement and obviously it's it's very PC you know we try and be as safe as we can following all safety protocols and you know the track was still hot da 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 like obviously you don't want people people are still racing behind you know first second third fourth fifth they're still going to be passing that start finish line at over 100 miles an hour you can't have marshals running across the track obviously yes they should have some on the outside of the track and they should have gotten to them faster but you don't know who knows the situation because again where the marshals were, you know, are they on the inside, the outside, they have to cross the track, whatever it is. You know, they, they released the most, the PC, like, we're trying, we're trying to cover everything that we can, you know, trying to be as safe as possible, but there's still people on track doing, you know, it's still a hot track, and da 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 And, <laughs> I mean, it is. It's, it, it sucks to be a rider that, if you go down that fast, that, that no one comes and checks on you for that long. Who knows how, like, what the actual time frame was because by the time the cameras actually flopped back to him he was up and walking which yes obviously you've had a crash you should be checked out but if you're up and walking the crash normally isn't that bad either you're super pumped full of adrenaline and you can't feel anything or you know you're not majorly hurt that i mean the smart thing is if you get in a crash unless you know that you are not hurt like 
absolutely 100% do not get up because you never know if you are full pumped full of adrenaline you have like a broken back or you know broken leg or something like that and you just don't know it until you know 5 10 15 minutes later no 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 stay down just rest <laughs> so you tell me in the comments below do you think you know do you think Moto America is in the wrong for not getting to him fast enough. Do you think Petrucci is in the wrong for bashing them for whatever and getting up and walking around the track? Like, obviously, he wasn't hurt enough that he had, he had to stay down, but who knows? You tell me in the comments below what side you're on. The, the race sponsor side? Or <laughs> Which, granted, you know, Moto America, I, I love Moto America because it's it's my home country superbike sport race, whatever you want to call it, you know. But it is, compared to, compared to even like, you know, ASBK in Australia, BSB, oh man, BSB is miles ahead, World Superbike, like all that kind of stuff, it's just, the, the competition is so small, like yes, they're pulling in some, you had Loris Baz last year, they have Petrucci this year, like they are, they are pulling in some like, you know, world class names now, but, I don't know. It, it's not. It's not what it should be. Like I don't even think they televise the super sport races anymore, which is pretty sad. But you tell me in the comments below. What do you think of it? What do you think of Petrucci? Do you think he's going to win the championship? I don't care. Comment it down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bug my mouth. Oh God. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.